Are you familiar with the language in some of these documents the accused have discussed with black groups? Yes, since some of those documents were drawn up by me. The one noting with concern and disgust the naked terrorism of the government? That is correct. You say naked terrorism. Do you honestly think that is a valid statement? Well, I think it is a far more valid statement than the charges against these men here. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. Really? I'm not talking about words. I'm talking about the violence in which people are bet on charge by police, beaten up. I'm talking about police firing on unarmed people. I'm talking about the indirect violence you get through starvation in the townships. I'm talking about the hopelessness, the desolation of the transit camps. Now I think that, all put together, that constitutes more terrorism than the words these men have spoken here, but they stand charged. And white society is not charged. When you and others in black consciousness speak, you say, our true leaders have been banned and imprisoned on Robin Island. Yeah. Who are you referring to specifically? Uh, specifically, we refer to people like Mandela, Sabukwe, people like Goban and Becky. And is it not true that the common factor with these people is that they have advocated violence against the South African government. The common factor with these people is that they have selflessly pushed forward the struggle of the black men. So, your answer to this so-called naked terrorism is to provoke violence in the black community. Now, our movement seeks to avoid violence. But your own words call for direct confrontation. That's right. We demand confrontation. Isn't that a demand for violence? Well, you and I are now in confrontation, but I see no violence. <laughs> but nowhere in these documents do you say that the white government is doing anything good? Well, it does so little good, my lord, that it is not worth commenting on. Surely that approach inflames racial hatred and anti-whiteism. My lord, blacks are not unaware of the hardships they endure, or what the government is doing to them. We want them to stop accepting these hardships, to confront them. People must not just give in to the hardships of life. They must find a way, even in this environment, to, to develop hope. Hope for themselves. Hope for this country. Now I think that is what black consciousness is all about. Now without any reference to the white man, to try and build up a sense of our own humanity, our legitimate place in the world. But why do you use a phrase like, black is beautiful? Because black is commonly associated with negatives, the black market, the black sheep of the family, anything which is supposed to be bad. Then why do you use the word? Why call yourselves black? I mean, you people are more brown than black. Why do you call yourselves white? You people are more pink than white. Precisely.